Here's another part of episode two. You can buy the biggest estate railroad in the United States, and you will not believe what this train did to that building. Was, was that clickbaity enough? This is Railroad Showcase. Okay, so this next image is one that I found recently, and I know everybody's seen it, it's been on the internet for years, but we did a little bit of digging and we found the story behind it. So first off, no one died. Uh, there were two crew members that were injured, but no one was in the building, so no fatalities occurred. So this is a Spino rail grinder. They're a little bit unfamiliar with the area, and the track there comes to a dead end at the end of this wharf. And just beyond that end of track, is it was this boat shop and they were didn't realize that was the end of track plowed right through the end of it and went a little over 200 feet so you're saying that that tank truck right there started out on the other side of on the, the other side of the building and the and 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 the rail grinder train pushed the truck and itself clean through the building clean through it's almost a perfectly <laughs> straight line um Wow, that is an unforgettable image. We actually found the location um, in Staverin where that happened. We have that link down in the show notes in the description. Uh, and you can go and see, and you can see that they actually haven't rebuilt the shop yet. You can see where the end of track is, where the building foundation still is, but there's nothing there. I was also impressed by how you can see in that photograph that when they came to end of track, they blew through and ripped up all of the asphalt there on their yeah. way to the building. Mm -hmm. The largest 15 inch gauge railroad in North America is up for sale. This is John Wood's estate in Steelville, Missouri. There's a number of houses, a three story station, a huge roundhouse, and five miles of track running through the rolling woods on the property. Some of the equipment came from Glen Bell's Bell Gardens Railroad. Their diesel switcher and many of the riding cars were built brand new by Hillcrest Shops. And the crown jewel of the railroad is the one-third scale Northern built by Daryl Klumpmaker of Little America in Wisconsin. Didn't you know John Woods? I did. Um... He was a subscriber to the Grand Scales Quarterly, and then I met him in person for the first time when he came to uh, the Grand Scales convention that we had uh, a, a number of years ago at Little America there in Wisconsin. And then he also came with us on one of our tours to England, and he told me that he was inspired by the Romney Hythe and Dim Church and the Raven Glass and Eskdale, it influenced him on, on what he was hoping to accomplish, and, <laughs> and he accomplished it. It's astonishing to think five miles of track on a private 15-inch gauge railroad. It's, it's, it's an amazing feat, and, and riding around that railroad is, is awe-inspiring. I really hope that they find a buyer that will love the railroad and that will keep it open to all of those people who have spent years helping him build it and keeping it running. Yeah. All right, guys, last reminder, the favorite is only on sale until this Sunday, the 20th at 40% off with free shipping in the United States. Details on our webpage, rrshowcase.com. Go check it out. So find us on YouTube, on Facebook, and, and our website, rrshowcase.com, and leave some comments. Thanks again for watching.